Transformers Reactivate by Splash Damage is on its way. Rumored to be a live service Transformers game, it has a lot, and I mean a lot, of potential. But if it's going to be successful, I hope that it takes lessons from some of the better moments in Transformers gaming history. Here on Autobot Dawson Gaming, I have played every Western release of every single U.S. Uh, home console, is what I'm trying to say, Transformers video games. So anything that's on like a primary console, I have played it right here. And so I know a lot about these Transformers games that have come in the past, and I know what I like, and I know what I don't like, and I hope that this video will shine some light on some things that I hope that Splash Damage and the team working on Reactivate can learn from our history of Transformers video games to make Reactivate the best Transformers game yet. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Stick around. Starting off with the Transformers Armada 2004 PS2 game, this hidden gem was actually one of the best Transformer games ever made. What you're seeing here on the screen is me taking on Tidal Wave, one of the bosses who's absolutely humongous and a true spectacle. And that's the lesson that I hope Reactivate learns from Armada, is to give us a few boss fights that are spectacles. Especially if we have like Destiny style raids and dungeons uh, type activities in, in Reactivate. There's a really great opportunity to have some incredible bosses. You know, Tidal Wave here, when you first encounter him, you don't even realize you're actually on Tidal Wave because the level that encompasses this boss actually has you go through an aircraft carrier. So how amazing is that? A great utilization of the transforming mechanic to actually have you go through a dungeon which is the boss it transforms into its robot mode and is now this giant devastating boss you know later in the game we also have the unicron final boss which is also an incredible boss fight uh, i'm not going to show it for spoilers due to it being the final boss but you can check it out on my channel as well and you know you're actually flying around cybertron this game definitely knew how to use Transformers and make the boss fights absolutely unforgettable. And let's hope Transformers Reactivate can give us some of those awesome boss fights as well. Transformers Prime the game is another excellent Transformers game um, and I definitely recommend checking it out on the Wii and Wii U. The lesson that I hope it teaches Transformers Reactivate is gameplay variety. And again, with the live service model, we should have an opportunity to have a lot of different, um, you know, game modes and things like that, if that is indeed the direction Reactivate goes. But even back here on this Wii game, the gameplay variety throughout this game was incredible. You know, this particular mission here, you're seeing uh, Jack and RC work together in vehicle mode to sort of just dodge obstacles. Um, trying to get closer and closer to this boss that then you control Optimus Prime to actually face. Um, and that's just within one level. There are varying different gameplay variety uh, you know, types throughout this game. There's a level with Bumblebee where you're sort of solving puzzles to escape a uh, Decepticon base. Um, there's you know, boss fights that are just all-out brawls with characters like Bulkhead and Optimus Prime. Um, there's essentially what come down to like racing escape missions similar to the one you see here but with a timer there's a lot of different variety in this game and it keeps it fresh none of it overstays its welcome and i'm reminded a lot of like sly cooper uh sly 2 specifically um you know I've, I've talked about in the past how that game just had perfect balance of gameplay variety you spent most of your time doing the main platforming that you bought the game for but there was other mission variety in there and that kind of thing will keep Reactivate fresh. Even if it doesn't have like a PvP, just having different objectives, you know, different mechanics that you're taking part in throughout an encounter or throughout a level will definitely help keep the game fresh, especially with it being live service if they expect us to be playing this game for hundreds of hours. Transformers Devastation. We're no longer talking about underappreciated Transformers games. We're talking about one of the all-time favorites uh, of the Transformers community, and that is Devastation. 
the thing that I hope it teaches Reactivate more than anything, and it can teach it a lot, is responsive controls, smooth gameplay. I, you know, those sort of go hand in hand. What I really mean is the feel of the game. Does it feel good to play the game? I think that is very, very crucial um, for Transformers Reactivate. With you spending so much time in a game, uh, you know, of its genre, it's super important that it actually feels good to play. Devastation is incredibly smooth, and of course, Reactivate is going to be a third-person shooter, more in line with War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron likely, than Devastation's more uh, Bayonetta-esque gameplay, especially with it being developed by Platinum. Um, but that doesn't mean that it can't learn smoothness, responsiveness. There was never a time when I was playing Devastation that it felt like my character was transforming at the wrong time or doing something I didn't want it to do. It was always responsive, um, and as you can see here, even when taking on these two humongous combiners, um, and there's just a lot going on on the screen, the game still manages um, to work properly and, and to work smoothly. I mean, the dodge timing, everything's great, and let's hope that Reactivate can take a lesson there and give us an experience that is great, but also that works correctly and smoothly uh, when you're actually playing the game. Of course, there's going to be problems, of course. But overall, is that gameplay good? Transformers War for Cybertron. Now we're talking about one of the all-time greats in the Transformers gaming franchise and one of my all-time favorite video games of all time. As you can just see there, uh, my friend Tyler and my uh, cousin Wade were reviving each other and that brings me to the exact point that I'm talking about in terms of what lesson can War for Cybertron teach um, Transformers Reactivate. Now granted, there's a lot of things to learn from War for Cybertron. Um, it, it's just an absolute classic, you know, us Transformers fans, we all know that. But right here, what we're seeing is smooth co-op, right? Co-op gameplay. You know, in a live service game, it's literally the one thing that'll keep you playing, right? I mean, I would have given up on Destiny a long time ago, and frankly, you know, while I don't play as much as I used to, back in the Destiny 1 days when I had more free time, and so did my friends because we were young then, <laughs> um, you know, co-op is what kept us together, playing together. War for Cybertron did this on a PS3 game. We had incredible uh, co-op campaign, we had an incredible escalation mode, and the gameplay always felt great. It felt awesome to revive your teammates and to save the mission. It also felt high stakes, because if one teammate fully went down and didn't get revived, there was great punishment for the team. The boss fights were amazing, the exploration was amazing, and the camaraderie of feeling like you're actually at war with the Autobots, and you're on a team with Optimus Prime is just absolutely amazing. And uh, right here, Optimus, Ironhide, and Bumblebee, an all-star team of Autobots taking down Trypticon. It's a memory that I'm sure not going to forget. And let's hope Reactivate can give us co-op like this. Finally, Transformers Fall of Cybertron can teach Transformers Reactivate about the importance of a tight narrative. An engaging story that keeps the player engaged with the game throughout now, Fall of Cybertron, of course, had the advantage of just having to worry about being a campaign and a great one-shot campaign, one of the best Transformers stories we've ever had, and a perfect follow-up to War for Cybertron's excellence. Really engrossing you in the characters and keeping everything connected as we go. Reactivate has the challenge of doing that throughout a, a model of a game that's going to continuously be updated, but it is possible. You know, when a game like Destiny first started and everything was kind of in the weeds at the beginning story-wise, but that gameplay got people hooked. You know, and they've they've went back and forth on whether or not the narrative was good, but in general, they found a way to keep things more connected than it used to be. I hope that Reactivate learns from Fall of Cybertron and says, okay, guys, this is a war between the Transformers and the new enemy type, the Legion, and we need to make everything we do about that, and we need to make it connected and we need to make it cinematic and we need to make it feel amazing these certain moments that you'll just never forget and this opening cinematic of fall of cybertron is one of the most unforgettable 
Transformer sequences we've ever seen. Um, so again, that is definitely what Fall of Cybertron can stand to teach not only Reactivate, but many games. Tight story, excellent characters, excellent plot. That is exactly what I want to see from Transformers Reactivate. Thank you all so much for watching this video. You know, Transformers Prime, Transformers Armada, the video game in both cases, uh, Transformers Devastation, and then War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron are probably the five best Transformers games ever made. At least they are in my opinion. They're the five I've enjoyed the most. And, you know, if you haven't checked any of them out, now's a good time to check them out. Uh, I have full gameplay of each on the channel and other videos, challenge videos, things like that. Plenty of content for you to check out. Hopefully play the game yourself as well. Um, while we wait for Reactivate, and let's just have our fingers crossed that all these lessons and more from these games can be learned and that Transformers Reactivate's dev team is taking a look at the history, the rich history, of Transformers in video games. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, this is Autobot Dawson Gaming, rolling out.